Alrighty, in this video I'm going to show you what you need to do with the completed world model SMD and the completed first person arms SMD that you we made, or that I made, in the previous two videos. So first off, you're going to need the uh, VPK uh, packager and unpackager thing. You can find this in your program file, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Leopard, Ed, 2 bin. But in order to find that, you have to, have to make sure that you have the Steam Left 4 Dead 2 authoring tools installed. If you own Left 4 Dead 2, you will have the tools. You just need to install them in your tools section. Once that's done installing, you can create a shortcut to the VPK on your desktop like I have. I have two folders over here, one called input, one called output. I use this, so I just put the textures in here. And I can use the VTF program right here to convert those input pictures into VTF textures over here. So, and I have my AnyGreen raw work folder right here. This folder consists of uh, two folders and an add-on info. This add-on info tells you the basic add-on info. Like, I have the title AnyGreen, Dead Rising 3, Zoe replacement, Dead Rising 3, the author, author Steam ID, uh, the description. This, oh, this will only show up if you don't upload it to the workshop, because if you upload it to the workshop, the workshop's description and info will overwrite this one. This will still be in there, it just won't show it. But if you go upload it to like gamemaps.com or something, then this is what will show up on your screen. This stuff. So, uh, then you also have models, which is where the models would go. Survivors and weapons. Weapons is where your first person arms would go. And I have a folder called decompile, that's like my work folder. Uh, I already have the idle SMD required for the first person arms that's like the initial skeleton setup for it, the raw and I have two QC's here that's two code files already pre-named any green arms Rochelle and any green arms Zoe I'm going to show you how to edit those so make sure you have notepad plus 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 installed because that's what I'm using to edit my code and in the survivors folder that's where your world model is so that's my work folder again decompiled I got Rochelle, you need the Ragdoll, Survivor, Producer, the, the Raw QC, this is the Raw QC. I'm going to show you how to edit that. And you need to have the physics in here. Same thing with Zoe. Uh, there's two versions of Zoe. There's the regular Left 4 Dead 1 Zoe, and then there's the Left 4 Dead uh, 2 Zoe. That's the passing, I believe it's called, where they're on the bridge. This is the model for it, which is called Zoe Light. So it's the same process as the first Zoe. You just got to do it to this QC but uh I already have these the Zoe QC's I've already altered to work but uh I wanted to show you how I did it with the Rochelle one so for Rochelle I can change this name from Survivor Producer QC to uh Annie Green Rochelle and this is where I'd go into my other folder, which has all my three models for Annie Green. The SMDs right here. Let's see. Uh, Annie Green Valve. Copy. And paste it. So now I have that folder there. So I just gotta open up my notepad now. Drag it over here. Uh, just make it nice and, nice and pretty. Drag this over here. Uh, the reason why it says created by Crowbar is because I use Crowbar, which is uh, you can decompile and compile with Crowbar. Very handy tool for this. And when you decompile, it magically adds that there, so you can get rid of that or leave it however you wish. Um, let's see. Since I don't have any facial animations, I'm not going to need this stuff here. So I'm going to get rid of this. Flex pair, flex file. Don't have that. Uh, gonna get rid of these. This is all f uh, flex stuff, like facial features and you know, not features but animations. Okay. Uh, LOD. That's for like if, if the camera gets far away, you'll start using a lower res model to save memory. I just get rid of those. Right here. That's the SMD file. Or file. Sorry. So I just copy the name, 
Make sure it's in the same folder as the QC. I'll change producer to any green. Or just any for now. Um, let's see. It's not going to have any eyeballs or anything, so it's, I need to fix that right now, but I'm going to look ahead. The materials folder, I'll just, I believe I named it any green. Uh, I don't need this. I believe the real shell one is all the correct attachments. But some of them don't have the correct or are missing some of the attachments and you have to put in the code yourself. But luckily you can find it easily. Uh, jiggle bones. I don't have any jiggle bones so I don't really need to edit that. I can leave it as is but you know, nothing's attached to it. Um, producer I'm just making sure. Uh, I know there's like a ragdoll stuff and all that. Uh, here we are. Sequence producer. Survivor producer and administrations. Uh, no, let's just get rid of this. And change this to that. Ragdoll. It's ragdoll, but we're going to get rid of this part. Because we have ragdoll in the folder already. We don't have it in another folder inside the folder. So that's good. Physics, yeah, that's good. Alright, that looks good to me. Now, let me just double check this eyeball part. Let's see, let's see. I have to replace this code with another certain part of the code, but uh, I'm trying to remember it. Do, do, do. I made a previous video on how to port pre-existing Dead for Dead 2 models on other survivors and in that I have a section where I have the code copied at. Let me just find that. Uh, let's show more. Ah, uh, here we are. Just gotta copy that. Right there. It just doesn't work, you know, because I don't have any facial features there. Awesome. Now that we got that good, um, let's see. I think everything else is fine now. I'll include that what I just copied there in the description. I think it should be good. All right, save it. And now we got to open up Crowbar. Make sure you have all your paths set up leading to like your Left 4 Dead 2 bin folder and all that. You can do that in the game setup game section. Make sure everything's fine. I have three uh, libraries, so I gotta add those. But uh, everything's found, so it's good. Let's go to compile. Get our QC, drag it over here, and compile it. It's working so far, so good. Alright, let's see. Let's check to see if there's any errors. It doesn't look like there's any errors. And here it shows you all the uh, materials you're going to need. So this is important right here. Because those are all the materials that uh, are on that model that's being used. And so those are materials. They're going to look for those exact names when looking for the textures or materials. So uh, that's good to know which ones you got there. I'd, I'd Normally I just copy it and paste it as material list or something. Like I would go right here, new text document material list. I'd copy this, paste it, I'd save it. So now I have a material list. Now I go to decompiled, I go to survivors, because this is where the actual files will go. Files, sorry. I push go to, it goes to the folder that I have it opened at. I drag and drop, it moves over, and now I have the Rochelle models. Of course, uh, I can't just test it right now, I gotta put the materials together, and I like to do the weapons too, so I can test them both at the same time so I don't have to turn off the game and on the game. So, uh, let's take the QC Rochelle, 
and open it up in Notepad. So it's at a, this is for my old one, the Sally Attack one from Infinity Warfare, whatever it's called. Uh, what was it? Annie Green. Uh, oops, I never moved the uh, file over, so that's arm, copy, paste. Uh, do this. Do this. You don't have to do it, but you know, it just it's not the same name as the previous one, so that's good. Yeah, it looks good to me. It's, this is my old. Uh, if you took away this, it would look in that folder for it. But it's, I don't really need. I just uh, I don't know why I just left it there. And save. And uh, just make sure it's the right one. Like it says producer, that means Rochelle. If uh, it says anything else like coach or uh, gambler or mechanic, those are coach, <laughs> uh, Nick and Ellis. And I believe the Left 4 Dead 1 models, if you're replacing them, it won't say new. It'll say their name, like instead of this section, it'll say V uh, underscore arms underscore Zoe, or Bill, or Frances, or Lois, Lewis. So that's good. So now I'm going to compile it. Compile QC. Nope, that's Zoe. Just got myself there. Compile. And since we use the same model, we just ripped off the arms. It's going to use the same materials. Let's see if there's any errors. Seems like it's going well. Looks pretty good to me. Let's go to. Go to arms. Drag and drop right there. All right, now let's go to survivors. Oh, no. Oh yeah, materials now. So we have VGUI and models. VGUI is with like the HUD. You see like the lobby pictures or the panel picture or the when you're down picture. It's all here. Well, it's these folders right here or files. So we have to open up the VTF edit machine. What is it called? Program that machine. And um, say I want to edit the lobby producer. That's the other one I had before. I'd push this, copy, and I'd open over here, paste it. And since I'm doing the Rochelle one, I'm going to pick lobby. And it's going to open it up. I can save it, and I'll save it over lobby. Where you at, Lobby? Lobby Producer. That's Lobby Rochelle. And I'll open it up. I'll select Panel Leopard to, And I'll save it as a... Panel... Nope. Panel Producer. There we go. Now let's open up the down one. No, not Leopard to, Leopard to 1. Of course, you gotta make these. Uh, turn the mask on so, so you know, it's clear in the background. And this one is S panel producer in cap. I, I might as well do the Zoe ones too while I'm at it, just so sort of save some time. So left for dead one, open, say okay, save, S panel teenage in cap, new left for dead one, open, save, select Zoe. It, it's like the lobby one, but it's just called select Zoe. Um, panel. 64, no way, not 64. That's the dimension of this picture. Like, they have different dimensions. The panels or ones are 64 times 64, and the lobby ones are like 256 times 256 pixels. And, uh, I can't remember what the, uh, other one is. The down one, I think it's 256 times 128. I'll double check, though. Yes, panel teenager down it's 256 times 128 okay I, I don't know if you can go higher than that I just I think it has to be that scale or that ratio like 64 times 64 it's, it's a pretty even it's just a one-to-one -one ratio but the uh, you know 256 times 128 it's one to two or two to one all right let's see 
Now that I have that all done, I can double check it just by dragging and dropping it. Make sure it's correct. Yes, just double checking the work. If it looks to be in order, I'll, I can get rid of these. Uh, I can go to materials, models, survivors, and then I made a folder called Annie Jean. This is green, sorry. This is where you would put the folder at. You can go more in debt. You can put like Dead Rising 3 and then put this folder inside of it. You just got to make sure you reference it correctly in a VTM or VMF file folder. And this is like the code for the materials. So here I would have uh, like this code base texture. That's like a diffuse channel. So it, you got to tell where to look for it at model survivors. Model survivors and Annie Green, and then you put uh, forward slash, and then eyelashes is the texture for file it's looking for. Bump map is the normal, and then Fong and all this over here. That's all like uh, the spec, the spec, spec, specular channel. I don't. I'm not really an expert in materials, so I always use a basic. Alpha test makes like uh, some of the parts invisible, such as eyelashes. Self loom makes the alpha channel light up. So since we have this here, we're going to need to get all the textures in uh, that folder. So what I do is usually have input open. Then I go to my textures folder, which is text. I get all the ones I want. So I'm looking for this one. This one. Uh, I believe this one. This one. This one. This one. Just this one. Uh, this one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Jacket point? No. Oh, maybe that is. This one. This one. This one, this one, this one, and this one, this one, this one, this one, I'm gonna clean done. Uh, can't tell which one it is. I wanna say it's this one, but this one looks like a cleaner version. This looks like a decayed done. Uh, and that should be it. So I'll just copy it and paste it in input. They should all be the same file type, so they're all ping. And I guess I'll rename them while I'm here. So my material note is accessories, so that's the bling one. So bling. Let's make it to dash n for normal. Uh, boots or boots. Boots n. What did I name this? Torso? I think I named it Torso. I think I just named this one Eyes. Hair. Oops. Hair. There we go. I think Head's Head. Hood skirt belt. What I named this sweater. I think I just named this one jacket. Teeth or mouth? Teeth, yeah. I did spell tongue right. 
All right, cool. Tongue, yeah. Because uh, if I spelled it wrong here, that would mean I spelled it wrong on the actual model. So I would have to go either edit the model again, or I'd have to force this one to be misspelled as well. Uh, that's everything. Cool. Now I go to the VTF program. Nope, that's crowbar. VTF for here. Options. Convert folder. I normally take off, turn off auto create VM T file. Full file. Convert folder. Input folder. Desktop input. Output folder. Output. To VTF. PNG. That's correct. Recursive is what we want, so it goes to a mall. And then convert. And then you just play the waiting game. If you have high res textures, this will take a lot longer. Oh, cool, finish converting. Now that I got it done converting, I can move the output, which is the valve texture files, into this. So I just drag them all, or select them all, and drag. Now they're all in there. I can exit it, I can delete the ones in here, or I can keep those so they're easily named, and I don't have to rename all these. So I'll just name this, I'll turn this into raw. And I'll move everything into there. And now I move all this there. And I'll delete whatever's in here. Close this. I'll take out the custom ones. Arms. I think that's good for now. Okay. Perfect. Now I got it all organized. Uh, did I take the eyelashes too? Yes, I did. No, that's the material folder. I like to hit this type button so it separates the material and the texture since the textures are going to have the same names. I don't think I moved the eyelashes over. Dang it. Okay, eyelashes. Say you miss some and you want to do it manually, all you got to do is uh, find them. So I think it's one of these. <laughs> I want to say it's this one. You can control, put them over here, paste it, copy this. You can go ahead and close that because uh, import. Same thing as uh, you did with the lobby panels and all that. Looks like there is no mask in this one, so this seems to be the mask. So sometimes you gotta create your own mass. And to do that you need like Photoshop or something. And uh oh, oh let's just check this one out. It might be uh the right one. So let's, nope, let's delete this one. Paste this one over here. Import. Oh, this is the right one, okay. So we'll save it as eyelash. I think it's eyelashes, so it should be fine. Great, now we got our missing thing. Now we can move this one. All right. Now let's go over to the VTF thing we again. VTF edit. Take eyelashes, drag it, eyelashes, eyelashes, N. If you don't have an N, a normal, for that one thing, you can add the two or forward slashes and it will ignore that line of code. So, for this case, I'll keep them because I don't have an N for eyelashes here. And that looks good. Alpha test, that looks good, good, good. Okay, now I'm just going to go to eyelashes, copy and paste it. I'm going to rename it accessories. So, I'm going to, uh, there we go, accessories. And I'll replace eyelashes with accessories, accessories, whatever you call it. This one has a normal, so put the stripes away. Put forward slashes, save it. And I'm going to do the same process. So, next one's boots. 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 Save. Um, eyes. No, i got to paste this first. Eyes.
perfect. Hair is the next one, so I believe it's the hair has an end, you see the end, so I'll just paste hair 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 save uh, jacket, pants, and sweater. Uh, accessories again, copy paste, just change the pants. Change just the pants. Oop. Change just the pants. Save. Paste again. Let's change it to jacket. 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 I believe the sweater next. So. Oh, I forgot to change the name of it. I'll just type this in for now. Sweater. Save. And now I'll save I can rename it to sweater. Double check to make sure you kept it. Yeah, I did. So uh, hair, head. Oh, I need to do a head. Okay. Head. 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 I know one of them's torso, so. Nope, nope. Wrong button. Not right, cool. I didn't save. Paste. Changes the torso. 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 Save. Eyelashes, eyes, hair, head, jacket, pants, sweater, teeth, zipper. Teeth and zipper are the last ones I haven't done yet. Teeth. Actually, I haven't done tongue either. I don't think about it. Zipper. Zipper. Uh, tongue. Really hoping that's how you spell tongue. Nope, I was wrong. Tongue, here we go. Perfect. Yeah, to double check the list, accessories, tongue, teeth, pants, zipper, uh, boots, jacket, sweater, torso, head, hair, eyes, and eyelashes. Alright, that's everything. And Annie Green, Annie Green, spoke correctly, Annie Green. One misspelling and we'll find it. So, uh, this all looks good to me. I think I might be done. And once you're done and you want to test it in game, you can just go to uh, Annie Green. Since this is my Annie Green Raw, I'm just going to close this. Close this too. I can drag and drop it to the VPK packager and it'll package it for me into a VPK. So that's what Valve uses. I mean, the, and it's put, Valve uses it for its add-ons. So, any green raw. And uh, so I don't need these textures in. I mean, I need them, but not at the moment. So let's go to my Left 4 Dead modding folder. Type A for add-ons. Add-ons. This is where I can test them. Your workshop one will download into here. So, uh, and then I'm going to test it. You can test it in the crowbar system. So, uh, let's go to view. Let's open up Annie Green again. Go to models, survivors, uh, MDL. Drag it in here. It's looking for it. Alright, it says what materials it uses. Uh, it's a view as replacement. Left 4 Dead 2 has support. Make sure it says Left 4 Dead 2. I know in the previous crowbars you were able to, but I've been having trouble with mine. Excuse me. Alright, the hood's down for this one. I must have used the hood down model. Oh well. That's easy to fix. I just gotta make sure I copy and paste the correct one next time. Alright, so... Let's... I'm gonna fix that for now. Go to decompile, go to Rochelle, 
go back to my Annie Green uh, thing. Here it is. Hood. That's the one. Annie Green Valve. Delete that. Move this one over here. Copy paste. And since I don't want to edit the code again, all I gotta do is get rid of the hood part because it already it's already looking for a file called this. So I just gotta recompile it now. Oops. Compile. Compile. And while it compiles, I'll move this to decompiled and I go to survivors and I'll delete these. And looks like it finished, so make sure everything no errors, no errors, no errors. Go to go to drag and drop this exit. Now I'll try this again. Go to not decompile view. View list replacement. All right, so we went with the hood. It's good. Uh, okay. Yeah, looks good to me. You can test some of the animations here. So it looks pretty good to me. At least rigging wise, I gotta see if the textures work. I don't know why it's not detecting the textures. Uh, maybe it'll tell me up here. Why is the eyelashes general one so? Okay, now I'm going to test it in the front to see if it works. Alrighty, here's the model. No, it's not the model. This is the model right there in front of me. The backpack's on it properly. The sidearms are being held properly. Really short, but that's because that's how tall Rochelle is. If I were to rig it to coach, she'd be as tall as coach. Because <laughs> they all use the same skeleton. But uh, each skeleton uses different animations, and those animations dictate the size of the skeleton. So, and this is her with her hands. Seems kind of noodly still. But they work. Let's give her a bigger gun. Oops, sorry coach. Doesn't pull on it, that's good. It reloads, everything's fine. Nothing nothing on the arms pulling on the string and blocking my screen at all. Well, everything worked out in the end, so that's good. So the model works, the textures work, there's no missing textures, uh, no pulling on the body. So everything came out fine. Before you upload it, make sure you clean it up. So I'll take this, I'll copy it, and I'll paste it. And then I'll name it, uh, instead of raw, I'll just put Rochelle. Just like the add-on's called, that I've named it. Go inside, make sure the add-on info is correct. This one says Zoe. So I just change it to Rochelle. Same thing found here, Zoe. Rochelle. Save. Exit that, models, weapons, arms. I can get rid of decompiled since this is the uh, finished folder version of the Rochelle one. Survivors get rid of decompile. I go to models, I go to Rochelle, I go to materials, BGUI. I can get rid of the teen, teen, and Zoe one because those are Zoe. And uh, models, go to survivors, Annie Green, make sure there's no raw, that's all good. So right here, quick, quick. And uh, that should be it. And then I'll have my finish folder. So then this is I'll drag over to VPK. I'll make my VPK. Re I'll copy the name, rename it to that. And now I have my complete Annie Green Rochelle folder file. Sorry. And let's look at the. Goals. This is 25 megabytes versus 45.9 megabytes. <laughs> so I pretty much cut it in half by cleaning it up. Of course, you would do the same thing if you did the Zoe one, or if you're making a pack, you just keep them together. Installed. Let's go to tools. 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 Where the f where you are? Left 4 Dead 2 authoring tools. Push play.
Normally it doesn't take this long. Once here, this is where you can upload your add-ons. You go to Workshop Manager, double click it, and open up a new one. It's retrieving my old files that I've uploaded, but I don't need to do that. You would go to Create New Mod, you would type in like Anna Green, and then I do the DR3 part right here just so we know what game it's from. Like, what if there's an Anna Green from Dead Rising 5 or something? Put DR3, and then I put who it replaces, which would be Rochelle in this point. And then you put the description, and then you put the image, then you select the foil, and then you do the tags, and you accept, and then you go upload. And that's it. Okay, thanks for watching.